Swerve Strickland new contract. So along with Daniel Garcia's contract being renewed, Swerve Strickland has signed a new five-year deal, even though he had one year left on his original deal with AEW. And the contract is said to be in the realm of what Mercedes Monet and Okada are making. So this is my guess. We're aiming at the two to three million dollars a year mark. So Dave Meltzer claimed that some in the WWE office are unhappy with this because they don't see Swerve as worth that much and it upsets the market. Here's the quote. The Swerve Strickland deal and the offer to Daniel Garcia were told to us by someone in the WWE side for Garcia and more than one in Strickland as being bad for the sport because there are so far over what would WWE would perceive. That is a how this is written. Perceive the market value for both to be, with the idea Tony Khan spending more than he needs to and is raising salary. So what do you think about this? Raising the market rate or just because Tony Khan sees more value in Swerve Strickland than maybe WWE does? I see more... Uh, I, I'm agreeing with WWE on this one. Swerve Strickland is not worth 2 or $3 million. He's just not. If, if you just think you look at him and What's what's outstanding about him? Has he drawn any money anywhere? WWE had him, and along with that other big heavy set guy, and they got rid of him. So they didn't see anything in him. And Daniel Garcia is just I bet you can see fifty or a hundred Daniel Garcia's uh, Garcias on the independent circuit. And there's, he's he's not to me. I don't think people would buy a ticket to to see him. That would any way you know gratify the two million dollar marker. I don't see that because if Daniel Garcia was worth that much, really, in WWE world, they'd be after him. Now, Daniel Garcia isn't two million a year. He's he's just renegotiated for a, what WWE perceive as a higher than market value for him. But that's not two million. The two to three million okay. that I'm guessing is only for Swerve. Do you know with Daniel Garcia? Right, he interfered in the MJF match, cost MJF uh, his match against Will Ospreay, and then he and he was wearing a mask. And when he took his mask off, I turned around to my mate and went, "Well, I'm none the wiser. Who is this guy?" <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm I've saying. I've only seen him two weeks ago. It's Daniel Garcia. There's, I've seen him loads. He's he's really, really generic looking. I'm, I'm telling you. And Sora Strickland, the same thing. He's maybe great in the ring, but he didn't justify that amount <clears throat> at all. See, Logan Paul, now you can look at Logan Paul because he's known by doing other things. And he's, he was pretty well a national figure before he signed with WWF. Uh, WWE, I'm sorry. But Swerve Strickland, nothing. And that does up, I, I don't know what that, I think WWE is, I don't know what they're, they don't want somebody out there like like doing that because that that stretches them to the limit. Because what if they want to sign a guy and he says, which he's not legally able to say, or his attorney, and he, he won't say there's uh, AEW, but there's another competitor out there that's bidding a lot more for his services. So, and he'd say, well, of course, WWE, if they're negotiating, they say, well, what would that figure be? If he put $2 million down, the next thing out of the representative for WWE would be let him go. Tell him, please, he needs to go yesterday. Don't even wait to today. He needs to go because we can't pay him that type of money. Because his, I don't, I don't care what spot they would give him, does it justify that, that money? Tony Khan recently was once again complaining about WWE and uh, contract tampering. He's, he's, he's cried this a couple of times. And the thing is, they both do it. WWE does. I'm sure Tony Khan's done it the other side and, you know, what they might want to call it, you know, just checking in and that kind of thing. It's all contract tampering if you want to look at it that way. But it's funny how he mentions that a couple of weeks ago and then all of a sudden there's been a couple of big uh, uh, re-signings way before the contracts are up. So I'm wondering that maybe this is like a reaction to keep uh, talent happy. In that Okay, and, uh, just for my benefit, yeah. MJF, what do you think Tony gave him? 
Okay, well, as far as I know, he renegotiated a couple of years ago. I have absolutely no idea. I'm sure he's making seven figures a year. But I don't think he'll be making two to three million. You don't think he's making two or three million? No. What is, Mon what is Mercedes Monet making? All estimated probably in the two to three million range. So the only people estimated in the two to three million range is going to be Swerve, Okada, Mercedes Monet, and maybe a couple of maybe the Young Bucks. They'll be in seven figures a year each, I think, Young Bucks. I'd say Brian Danielson probably definitely is. CM Punk, I absolutely am sure, would have been the highest paid at the time when he was there. But uh, it's all speculation on my part. But um, th there'll be some of the few who are in the seven-figure-a-year club. Woo! A lot of money. Mm -hmm. Or a little bit, little bit of a payback. And see, with uh, Brian Danielson, he doesn't, how many times a, a month does he even wrestle, work? He's been working a lot this year purely because it's his last year. So it's almost his retirement tour. And now that he's the champion, he's only got a couple of months left in him and until he loses. And then he will get neck surgery and be gone for a year and then just make the occasional appearance after that. Well, well, the, the old saying is, how do you become... A millionaire in the wrestling business, you start with two million. Mm. But if you start with a billion, I mean, if you can do that, it'll be a long time. And Jim Ross said that, hey, Tony Khan can weather the storm a lot more than these other guys can. And we're going to talk about that too, right or no? No, I've skipped that one. Oh, okay. We've got a couple more things. We'll talk about it in a future episode, I think, because I figure that's going to uh, continue. So... Um, Okay, obviously, Dutch, as you're a worker, a man of the people, you obviously do not begrudge Swerve Strickland or anybody else from getting a good payday. No. Uh, the I, I don't. I, hey, if they can make the money, please go ahead and make it while it's there. It won't be there long. Because a year from now, AEW could be a memory. He could just, all of a sudden, this Tony Khan could say, screw it, I'm out of here, I'm not going to do it anymore. Or he could cut his whole thing down. And I guarantee you, if he cut the money down uh, and wrestlers are like this, they would badmouth him to the moon. Oh, that, that, blah, that son of a man. You know, I'd give this up. I get, hell, they, they go to the matches, from what I've heard, and just sit in catering and eat all day and watch the, watch the show. That's what they do. It's a good job if you can get it. It's a, it's a good gig. I think I'm going to call up Tony and say, hey, Tony, you want somebody to sit in catering and just bitch and moan and tell these guys what they're doing wrong? I'll do it for you. And I won't do it for – I'll do it for half a meal. Yeah. So what I'll do it for you. got form of that with TNA anyway. So you can say you've got experience sitting in catering. Yeah, but I didn't, make, I didn't make half a meal with TNA. No. 